All right, here we go. Let me show you uh, something I found in the Bible. Go to Genesis 1.1. I'm going to the, uh, in the beginning and the Hebrew right here, bear sheet. Look, why is the first letter um, beta? Like, go right here, bet, and it'll uh, show you, like, tag, roof, heel, floor. Okay, so you got that. My thing is, um, why didn't it start with the uh, olive? That's the most powerful one. That's like A for us, I guess you could say, the alphabet. So they're starting with beta. So that's my other question. So what is this all about? And you go to the, let's go in here. I use strong concordance. Strong concordance, if you don't know, this guy, James Strong, he did uh, every letter in the Hebrew and the Greek New Testament. Every number has, uh, every word has a number associated to it. So this guy put it all together. So, like I said, so the first one, beginning chief, okay? So that's just, that's in the beginning. So, like, it's a Rashith. Uh, let's go to strong exhaustive, like, beginning, part, time. Look at that, that's when time started, okay? So, go back, okay, in the beginning, I created God, Elohim. So, look, oh, right here, uh, you can also dig in here. This will show you Jesus Christ. It'll say, um, like this guy right here. He he does a good video, uh, John Kostick. See, he has it right here in this little corner. Uh, like the number, beta. Uh, keep going down to 200. Look, they're all numbered, that numeric value. But see, my question is, who is that? If it isn't God, uh, look, I add those numbers up. 4, 3, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 19, 13. So, where well, you can go to Strong Concordance 1913, and look, it brings up uh, Barak, Commander, uh, <clears throat> Commander of Israel, and you're like, okay, so, and look at the other one. Uh, what does the other one say? Alloy 10 dross, but uh, okay, let's go to the Barak. And you can go to, let me say, where do I find that? Barack. If you go into, let me do a quick search. Um, I think that one's that. Yeah, Flash of Lightning. See, right here, Barack, Flash of Lightning. So who is that? <laughs> and you go on Flash of Lightning, so... Okay, well, then you can go to Isaiah. Isaiah. And, um, let's see, where is it at? No, where is it? I know I saw it. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm sure you guys heard of that. I got the Bible. Fell by lightning. Okay. There it goes. Jesus is talking about it. He goes, look, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Oh, no. So who is that? So we go back. Let's go back to Genesis 1-1. So I'm still in the beginning. Look, in the beginning, uh, created God, the heavens, and the earth. And so, okay, but look, it says Elohim. I was looking at it. I was like, Elohim? Everybody goes, oh, that's God, Lewis. Okay, you sure? Let's see what strong coordinates says. Go to 430. It says God, okay, all right, so far so good. But look, when you go to the, uh, where's that? Strong exhaustive concordance, it says angels. Exceedingly God, very great, mighty. So it's like, uh, what's it, magistrates. Okay, so angels, you're like, what? And so, <clears throat> excuse me, go to, uh, let's do, do I have it up here? Nope. Okay, so let's do 430. Uh, hold on. Look, right here. Um, right here. When they're at Exodus, look, at the end of 430 years to the very day, all the Lord's divisions left Egypt. They were in bondage. So why does the beginning... Where's my... Okay, why does the beginning have uh, 
why does Elohim attach to 430? It's like God's telling you, hey, um, that's not me. And you're like, no, Liz, this is this is talking about uh, 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 God and his creation. I go, look, it says in the beginning. And I'll give you another quote. Watch this. Uh, Okay, look, even Jesus says, it goes, watch, look what he says. My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. What? Okay, so who is this guy? <laughs> okay, so look what I found. So you're like, okay, well, well, then who is this guy they're talking to the beginning? Okay, so uh, you'll have to go to... Let me see, Ezekiel. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Ezekiel twenty eight fourteen. Okay, yeah, there goes. Uh, you were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You walked among the fiery stones. That's the angels. So he's, that's the Lucifer. Look, um, there we go. Yeah, hold on. Where's that? Come on. Okay, I'll just leave that there. Hold on. Look, the Bible only has loose for one time. Uh, where are you at? Here we go. Is this it? Nope. Hold on. That's not it. There's only one time the Bible uses that. Um, I guess that's in King James. Yeah, I guess so. King James. How thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how thou art cut down to the ground, which thou didst weaken the nations. He's talking about the angels. Like he cut down to the ground, he fell. <clears throat> Here's my question. So, um, if Lucifer fell... And remember that body that he has. Uh, Paul talks about it. And so does uh, Jude. Look, so Paul talks. Meanwhile, we groan longing to be. Let me see. Let me get that up there. Longing to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling. So see, Paul's talking about that. Um, let me do it in Greek. It's Oki, Oki Terion, dwelling. See, that place is, it's, that word's only used twice in the Bible, New Testament. A habitation, dwelling, abode. And so Paul's saying, ah, I can't wait to get back there. And look, uh, the other place, it's in Jude. Jude talks about it. He goes, the angels, both not having kept their own domain, but having left their own dwelling, Oki Terion, unto the judgment of the great day. In chains of eternal under darkness he keeps. Who's he? That's Satan. Okay, look, and uh, eternal chains. That's the. They're locked in, um, <clears throat> I believe, in Lucifer's mind. So when Satan fell, uh, you're like, but this all happened in heaven. So Satan entered Lucifer. But you're like, how do you know? How, how? It just told you, Ezekiel. It goes, um, because, like I said, uh, here we go. Let me look for another Ezekiel, the one I see. Where is it at? There uh, we go. Say right here, you were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Boom. Okay, so if Satan, if Lucifer had that body, Paul talks about Okiterion, the dwelling place, that, oh, uh, look, he describes it. Paul describes a body. Um, let me see, what does he call it? Um, yeah, I think it's right there. Hold on. 
Should be in the same spot. Um, where is it at? Let me go back. Okay. Yeah, right here. Let me go to five, two. Okay. <clears throat> Man, ads everywhere. Okay. Um, Let me see if I can find it. He talks about it. Um, mortal. There he goes. He goes, look. For the perishable must clothe itself with, uh, with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality. So he's talk, he talks about the body. He's like, and uh, let me see. There we go. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying it is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. So I'm telling you that that um, that body, when we have to go back to our original domain. <clears throat> and so let's go back to uh, Genesis 1-1. And so here's another hidden number I found. So Genesis is the first book, right? So first chapter, um, one, one, one. And so you're like, okay, three ones. So look what Strong says. Uh, strong. All right, so look at that. Lawless. Okay. And then like, hey, dad. Okay, so you go here, <coughs> Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, lawless, illegal, criminal, um, abominable, unlawful thing. Man, it sure is, sounds like it's talking to about Satan. Okay, so you go, um, who's lawless? Look, watch. Second Thessalonians. Oh man. Uh, let me get that. I like using this guy. Okay, look. Second Thessalonians chapter two verse eight. Uh, and then, uh, then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. That's uh, the Antichrist. That spirit. Antichrist. It's all the same. It's all the same one person. Satan. But that's just a different form he takes. So let's go back. What else can we find? Okay, so that's just that's just in the first in the first part. Uh, in the beginning, created God, Elohim, Elohim. Look at that. It even looks like it. God of Him. Who's that? Four thirty is the years they were in bondage. Uh, the heavens and the earth. Uh, what did I find in heavens? Uh, sky. Let's go. Air, astrologer, heavens. I found something there too. I can't remember. Okay, let's go. Go back. What I, did I find something on Earth? Land. Uh, let's say Earth, field, ground. It's almost like it's a battery. Like he fell down. There's a field. You know how the Earth has a magnetic field. Almost. Uh, it's, it's weird. You can just take a look. Ground, positive, negative. All right. So, yeah. But right here is it's a whole other story. I was gonna. Why did I skip? Okay. I'm sorry. Let me go back here. This guy. You can read. Uh, watch this video. But look in Bereshit. Uh, like I said, it, it tells you the story. It's hidden in there. Jesus, uh, the son of. Okay. So like I said, go back to Genesis 1:1. Uh, in the beginning, uh, created God, the heavens, and the earth. So again, that's why I'm saying there's uh, more to it. In the beginning, it tells you about the space-time continuum. God, uh, Jesus lives outside of time. So who is this? Well, my, everything you put it together, it's Satan. He's inside. Uh, like my, Here's my question I always say. Uh, when Satan fell from uh, heaven, 
where did he go? You mean there's a, some people go, oh, you kicked him out of heaven. What, is there a door? <laughs> there's a fence? There's an edge? It's infinity. It never stops. Where is he going to go? God gave him a place. It just said it uh, in the, where, right here, where's it? Uh, Ezekiel. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till the wickedness was found in you. Ezekiel's talking about uh, Lucifer, which was a high priest, was right next to God. And like I said, if um, he let Satan go into Lucifer, he'll take all the other brothers and sisters, uh, all the other angels with them. And it, it's all planned. Uh, <clears throat> and he knew, because like I said, when Satan went in Lucifer, he fell. He fell in, I mean, when uh, Satan, yeah, when Satan fell, he fell inside Lucifer's mind. And so he took everybody else with him. Um, let's go back. Genesis 1 1. In the beginning, created God and the heavens and the earth. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, I mean, there's more there, but that's what I found there. And the earth was formless and void. Darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. See, this part, most people see, see, Spirit of Elohim, the Ruha. But I'm like, okay, so if this is not who we think it is, hovering, I was looking at here, hovering, relax to grow soft, relax. Okay, you're like, okay. But look, flutter, move, shake, to brood by implications to be relaxed. Look, look what flutter means. Flutter um, to and fro. Be tossed by waves. Who do you know goes to and fro? Um, remember when uh, Job and uh, God and Satan were doing a game? And the Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Uh-oh. Well, okay, that's a new one. Let me let's see this one. King James. I'm going to and fro from the earth. Okay. Let's see. Let's do uh, the Hebrew. See what it says there. Same thing. From going to and fro on the earth, from walking back and forth on it. So he's going back and forth. I'm like, okay. Let me see. Let's go back. So flutter. So another clue. It's Satan. But look, here's another one. Uh, I forgot to put. Look this one up. Broad. What is that? Let's go look it up. Um. Like, this is crazy. Okay, Broad, a family of young animals, especially a bird. Uh, let's see. What else did I find? Like, a bird sits on the eggs to hatch them. Uh, all right, where did I say? Uh, here we go. Let me, I think it was this one. Offspring of egg-laying animals, hatchlings. Uh, no, where did I see it? Burn, heat, incubate, uh, sit on eggs for the purpose of hatching them. Does that sound like uh, a dub? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, uh, incubate, look, to incubate in the mind. See, it's all, uh, I still think it's a, it, it's a mind thing, whatever. Uh, you take a look up there. But like I said, I, I think, like I said, once he took over Lucifer's body, and it was an uh, empty void. Let me see. It's almost like nobody was inside Lucifer's mind. So when Satan got in there, he goes, okay, well, nobody's in here. Look, the earth was, and the earth was formless and void and darkness was over the face of the deep. What? So, uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, man. Okay, let me keep going and see what else I can find. Uh, oh, look. Okay, everybody knows the first day, light, second day, firmament. Uh, what did I see here? Okay, let me, let me go down here. Where did it say it? On the sixth day. And God, let me see, where did he say it? So God created man in his own image. Look, he created he, him, 
male and female created he them. You know, so most people go, oh, okay, well, he just, you know, he made male and female. No, I think he made each, every, uh, they were both male and female parts per human. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. And you're like, how do you know that? Well, I don't know. Let's go look over here. It was in Genesis 2. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so look, the seventh day, God rested. Okay, so, or hold on, let me let me tell you this. Let me jump back. Look, that's uh, remember Jesus says to watch this. <sighs> Bible. Okay, where is it at? Isaiah. Okay. Oh man. I don't like Isaac. Well, let me go to the one I always use. Where's it at? Here it goes. Isaiah 46:10. Look, he goes, I make known the end from the beginning and from ancient times. What is still to come, I say my purpose will stand and I would do all that I please. Wow. Okay. So he's telling the end from the beginning. So if he's telling us the end from the beginning, look, first day, uh, I think is the 1,000 years, second day, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. I think we're in the uh, 6,000 year. <laughs> and like, what do you mean? Because the tribulation's coming up, that knocks seven years out. So we're seven years plus whatever it is when we actually leave. So it'll hit 6,000. <clears> and... And he has that millennial reign, so he reigns for seven, uh, for a thousand. So there's your seven, uh, seven years, seven thousand, yeah, seven thousand years. So we're in the six thousand. Uh, look, because late like, seventh day, God rest, rest from what? Fighting with Satan. So here's a type of shadow. Uh, look, but here the creation of man. Okay, so uh, he goes. Where's the and the Lord God, uh, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into the nostril breath of life, and man became a living soul. Okay, so He created him. Where? Just as uh, where did He create him? It doesn't say. They. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Look in every plant of the field. Like a magnetic field, earth field, all kinds of, it's weird. Before it was in the earth, uh, like so, look, I think this is the top part where we're at. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, See, what does that mist mean? Uh, what is six? Let's do two six. Um, okay. Just because they say mist, everybody goes, oh, it's just a mist. Are you sure? Let's look. Uh, but a mist, a mist. Uh, look, a flood. Mass of waters overflow. Mist vapor. You know what's interesting? It says uh, vapor mist. Uh, look what? Uh, who is it? Paul. Hmm. Yeah. Look. I think it's James. James says it. Why? You do not even know that will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while. And then vanishes. What? He uses mist. I go, um, let me see, maybe King James says it. See, look, King James. Uh, whereas you not know, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor. See, they're, they're using vapor and mist. So now if you go back, uh, mist and vapor 
See, but a mist went up, mist went up from the earth and watered the whole face. Okay, so are they talking about water or are they talking about people? I don't know. It sounds crazy. And water the whole face of the ground. So uh, you can play with that. I'm telling you, there's some crazy stuff. Um, let's see. What, let me see what else I found. Oh, uh, like the. Um, and the Lord uh, God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Man, whenever they say sleep, he died. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead of Adam. And the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. He he took the the woman part of the the womb. That's what I'm saying. I think Adam had both uh, sex organs. Look, and the rib was looking at taking out the. Uh, okay, let's go to 21. Let's see what 221 means. 2 uh, 21. Okay. And cause God. Okay. It has both names Yahweh and Elohim. A deep sleep. What does it say there? Deep sleep. Yep. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Ah, okay. Trance. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Upon Adam, and he slept. Slept. Let's see what slept means. To sleep. Okay. To be sly. Grow old. What? See? Figuratively, to die. See, I think he died. Weird. Okay. Let's see. Okay, he took one of his ribs. Okay, look at this part. This is crazy. He took one of his ribs. Uh, he took one of his ribs. All right, so let's see what that means. Side, rib. Okay, look, Tesla. Ta da. Remember the car, Tesla? Okay, well, Elon Musk. I think he's uh, uh, a little bit of side thing I'm looking at. Tesla means rib. But most people think it's, oh, okay, it's your rib cage. Are you sure? Let's look down here. Let's see what it says. The beam board chamber. Side chamber. Um, let's say. Okay. T -t 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 chamber. Let's look what a chamber is. Could. Could mean something else. Let's say, um, okay, large room, yeah, chamber, private, yeah, place, bullet, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, enclosed, basic cavity, yep, yep. Okay, small, great place, all right, all right, all right. A room and a house. Hmm. Apartment, chamber. That would sound like a rib to me. Okay, um, a room in a house, t -t 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 chamber, let's say, enclosed space. What is this? A bedroom utensil for containing urine? What the? Uh, let's say. Ooh, to restrain, shut up as in a chamber. Remember the Bible is always saying uh, to shut a, a bolt. No, that's a camera. What am I looking at? Okay. Chamber. Okay, so let's go back. Um, okay, so what was I going to look? See? He, and he took his place. Where he goes? In its place. What is that? Underneath, below, instead of. Let's say <sighs> maybe there's something there. Okay, but no, the rib is crazy. Okay, uh, you know, let's look up womb. Let's see what womb is. Mm. 
Okay, so organ in the lower body of the woman that I got it. Okay, alright, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Belly, uterus, okay. How did I get the chamber? Well, another um, word that sounds like it is rib. Look at this. This is a boat. What? Rigid inflatable boat. Hull. It's a boat. Navy uses that. A rib. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, so uh, just a study. Just let me see. All right, what else can I show you guys? Um, let me go to or mad. I'm on chapter two. Oh, uh, look, here's my theory of where Eden's at. Okay, the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Everybody's always looking for it. Um, they're like saying here, there, and I'm like, uh, I think it's underground. And you're like, what? Well, here's my clue. Um, if you go to the rich man and uh, is this it? No, that's not it. Um, <sighs> okay, rich man and uh, Lazarus. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So look, if uh, do, 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 where is it at? Okay. Like when that beggar died, Lazarus died, that rich man died. Uh, the one guy, see, he cried out to Father Abraham, Have mercy on me, send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue, for I'm tormented in this flame. See, my theory is he's in, um, there's, there's two parts there's a Garden of Eden, and then there's a, a gulf, uh, maybe water uh, is separating between them. Some kind of water. I don't know. There's something in between. They can't reach each other, but they can talk to each other. And the other guys in the like Hades, uh, a holding place for the um, for Satan's children. And so he's crying out. He to dip his finger in in the water, and it's uh, to cool just his tongue. But he feeds on fire. Why? He, why does he want to just cool his tongue? Uh, there's something else in there because uh, that flame I think is coming from Jesus <laughs> and he's burning them because he's close to because remember absent from the body is be present with the Lord well the Lord's on the other side he's over there by the he's in the Garden of Eden but look Abraham said to the son remember when thou and thy lifetime receive good things and likewise Lazarus, Lazarus evil things but now he's comforted and, uh, and thou art tormented so they give you a clue they're, they're underneath the ground and not not the grave like underneath like real far under and uh, my other theory is where um if i if i could wherever uh let me see noah's ark let me see um oh man it's not that like these guys said they found uh uh, Noah's Ark and the uh, Turkey and the Mount Ararat. Um, let's see, where is that? Ron White, I think it's, yeah, it should be him. Come on, man, all these. Uh, come on, how many ads I gotta put? Okay, let me just go to the image. Okay, let's go look. Okay, where's the one? Okay, here is this one. See, this is Turkey, Mount Ararat. They say that was uh, the boat, everything. So if that's right, my theory is the Garden of Eden, if you were to dig straight down from where Noah's Ark is at, you'll run into the Garden of Eden. And you're like, what do you mean? Because Noah's name 
um, rest, okay, and um, what? Look what a uh, error rat means. Error meaning. Um, look at its name. Uh, da, 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 da. See if somebody has it. <sighs> These guys don't know it. Um, yeah, here we go. Error rat. Curse reversed. <laughs> they reversed the curse. So. Reverse the curse. Noah's name means rest. They even said uh, Noah's name backwards uh, means uh, grace. Let me see. Noah's name backwards grace. Is that right? Do they say it here? Uh, I don't think they say it here. Let me like. Yeah, Noah's name written backwards means grace. Pretty cool. So if I had to guess, uh, if you dug straight down there, you'll run right into the Garden of Eden. Turkey. And remember, Turkey is where the seven churches uh, in the New Testament, uh, that's where they were original at in Turkey. Crazy stuff. All right, I think I'm going to take a break. I'm tired. Uh, peace.